great. Surface ocean currents, really straightforward and simple. Oftentimes, the ocean is going to be warmer in some spots and cooler in the others, logically. And because of our wind blowing that surface ocean around, we're only talking about maybe 10%, the top part of the ocean. Uh, other currents deeper in the ocean, but just the surface ocean currents, which are caused by planetary winds, it makes some cool currents blow towards some warm areas and makes some warm currents blow towards some cool areas. If you take a look at page four of your reference tables, you'll see a beautiful map. It shows you the, some of the major currents around the world, not all of them, but some of the major ocean currents around the world, the surface ocean currents. These are generally blown around by the planetary winds that we saw on page 14 of the reference tables. And you'll notice they split them up into two groups. They have the currents that are warm with a nice solid line, and then the currents that are cool with a hollow line. So there's two currents, the solid line warm currents and the hollow cool currents. There's some currents that are very well known, such as the Gulf Stream Current, which brings some warm water over to northern Europe. Like if you look at the, if we looked at London's climate, it's at the same latitude as some places in in Canada, yet its climate is a little bit cooler. They have some, it's certainly rainy, but it's not as wintry, not as cold as some places at the same latitude because the Gulf Stream is a warm ocean current that brings the water there. You'll also notice that the ocean currents follow the Coriolis effect as well, that in the northern hemisphere, these ocean currents curve to the right. Right, even this, remember if we flip that around the other way, that's a curve to the right. These ocean currents curve to the right. Yet in the southern hemisphere, they're curving to the left. We see the Peru current curves this way to the left. The West Australian current curves this way. Even this, remember if we flip it around and look the other way, that's a curve to the left. So just as wind is affected by the Coriolis effect, so are these oceans affected by the Coriolis effect. And then there's the one current that everybody knows. Wait right here. Guys! What, is he bothering you again? No, no, he's a good guy. Go easy on him. He's lost his son, Fabio. Any of you heard of P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney? Sydney? Oh, sure. Oh, hey, Ted here's got relatives in Sydney. Don't you, Ted? Sure do. Oh, hey! They know Sydney! <sighs> you wouldn't know how to get there, would you? What you want to do is follow the EAC. That's a uh, East Australian current. Big current. Can't miss it. It's in that direction. So, Mr. Turtle... Whoa, dude. Mr. Turtle is my father. Name's Crush. Crush? Really? Okay, Crush. Listen, I need to get to the East Australian Current. EAC? Oh, You're riding it, dude! Check it out! EAC, the East Australian Current.